Hello and welcome to this week's edition of CTN Community Update. The annual Coon Rapids Snowflake Day celebration is officially underway. Local seniors kicked off the fun Thursday afternoon in the Civic Center. And 45. Bingo! Dozens of people 55 and over tried their hand at Snowflake Bingo. The event was free and for those lucky enough to get a bingo, prizes were handed out. Culver's also provided seniors with a free frozen treat. This is the 54th year for Snowflake Days in Coon Rapids, and organizers hope you'll check out some or all of the events. There's really something for everybody on between those three weekends. Um, for the kids, for the adults, for the seniors, for everybody together. Um, we have an amazing community. We have a large community, and we'd like to see more people come out to do things. And, um, and it's winter. We're Minnesotans. People come out and enjoy yourself and, and have fun. The fun continues this weekend with the annual Mayor's Cup Simulator Golf Tournament at Bunker Hills. Teams will be competing against one another for prizes, including Bunker Hills gift cards and merchandise. On Saturday, the Kids Medallion Hunt takes place at Al Flynn Park. It's open to kids between the ages of 5 and 10. Those interested should meet at Fire Station 1 at 10 a.m. There's one hunt for girls and one for the boys. The Coon Rapids Fire Department Community Fund has donated two gift certificates to Jerry Schwinn for the winners. Also Saturday, the Miss Coon Rapids and Miss Coon Rapids Outstanding Teen Scholarship Pageant is being held at 6 p.m. at Coon Rapids High School. Seven contestants will be competing for the title of Miss Coon Rapids. Tickets can be purchased at the door. At a week from Saturday on February 3rd, the Children's Carnival is taking place from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Sand Creek Elementary School. For a complete list of events, log on to CoonRapidsSnowflakeDays.com or check out CTN Info Channel 14. We'll also have much more on this year's Snowflake Day celebration, including details on the adult medallion hunt coming up on CTN Spotlight immediately following this program. Well, we learned this week that a well-known toy retailer is closing more than 180 stores in the U.S., including four here in the Twin Cities. On Wednesday, Toys R Us, which filed for bankruptcy protection last fall, released the list of store closings. In addition to the location near Northtown Mall in Blaine, the company will be closing the Toys R Us in Minnetonka, as well as the Babies R Us stores in Richfield and Woodbury. The company isn't saying how many jobs will be lost, but some workers will be offered jobs at other locations. Closing sales will begin in February and be complete by mid-April. A new retailer has opened its doors not far from Toys R Us. Minnesota Home Outlet recently opened its third Twin Cities location in the old Circuit City spot in the Northtown Village Shopping Center. And it's already exceeding expectations as far as customer traffic doubling projections. Minnesota Home Outlet receives truckloads of inventory of overstock and return merchandise from major home improvement retailers. You'll find everything from building materials and tools to home goods and appliances, all up to 90% off the retail price. Hundreds of people turned out last weekend for the annual Community Wellness Day put on by the Anoka Hennepin Community Education Department. They walk in and they're kind of like, whoa, kind of overwhelmed. It's much more than you can put in a flyer or in a newspaper um, advertisement. And there was a lot to see and do last Saturday at Roosevelt Middle School in Blaine. Dozens of local wellness exhibitors were on hand to show off their products and services and answer questions. For the little ones, an early childhood gym was set up with plenty of fun activities for the kids and lots of resources and class information for parents. In addition, visitors could sample various seminars and health and fitness classes. I think between um, the, the things that they learn at the different workshops and activities and then all of the vendor resources that they leave here with um, a lot of information and just exposure and then we also guide them into um, if you really like this workshop, here's some more classes and ongoing education you can take in this area. The event also included a family book and DVD swap, along with reading with a dog. This is the 10th year that the Anoka Hennepin Community Education Department has put on Community Wellness Day, which usually attracts more than 600 visitors. A big honor recently for an Anoka man with many years of experience helping others in the mental health field. Last week, Larry Waite received the annual Healthy Body, Healthy Mind Award from the Mental Wellness Campaign for Anoka County. Waite spent most of his career working in Anoka County, first at Volunteers of America at the Bar Nun Residential Treatment Center, then Lord of Life Church in Ramsey, and in other faith communities. He retired back in 2016 after 51 years of service. 
Prom season will be here before you know it, and it can get expensive to get all dressed up for the big night. But you can get a great deal on prom dresses and accessories at an annual fundraiser for Anoka County 4-H. It's taking place Friday, February 2nd from 6 to 9 p.m. And, and Saturday, February 3rd from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Bunker Hills Activity Center. More than 1,000 garments in varying designs and colors and sizes will be sold for $30 or less. Only cash and checks are accepted. All proceeds will go to support Anoka County 4-H Youth Leadership Programs, Scholarships, and Community Service Projects. That is going to bring us to the end of our show today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week.